everybody, welcome back to a post render time chat. My name is Richard and it is my goal to help you make a living in life as a creative professional. It doesn't matter if you started yesterday or if you've been doing it for a decade like myself. We're all in this together and I want to help you out. Recently, I had the chance to sit down and talk with Andy Burgess. Andy is a filmmaker from the UK, East London to be specific, and it was great to connect with him and learn more about the work that he is involved with. Andy's awesome. His work is incredible. I first discovered him after seeing the work he did with Red Bull on the origins of bodyboarding. If you haven't checked it out, do it. It's amazing. I highly encourage it. I will leave a link to it um, below and um, you can also find it in the card above. But anyways, in my conversation with Andy, I learned a ton. I learned a ton about what it takes to make a living in a life as a creative professional. And more importantly, I learned a lot about his creative process. I learned a lot about like how he's going about the work that he's involved with and how I can take some of the things that he talked about and apply it to some of the projects that I'm involved with. One of the first major things I took away from talking with Andy was just the notion of trying to find ways to push our work. I always like to like look back on my work or reflect on it like a month or two or like whenever times pass from it and think about, oh, okay, how could I then make this better or like, see where you're developing your skills um it's it like it's just like no one knows every everything right it's always there's always something new you can learn there's always another tool you can add to your belt right it is so easy to plateau it's so easy to just like level off we're feeling comfortable we're not pushing beyond what we're capable of we're just like you know what this is good enough this is my ceiling and i'm not willing to push beyond that and it was fascinating when talking with Andy to hear his perspective on this and learning how he started out making Snapchat videos and now how he's graduated into making larger videos about subjects like bodyboarding. And I guess the I guess the big thing I'm I'm I took away from it was just the notion of we need to constantly be pushing our work. We need to be finding ways that we can grow. We need to find ways that we can challenge ourselves because in that adversity is where we grow the most in terms of the level of work that we're trying to make. The second big thing I took away from Andy and talking with him is just hearing his perspective on how Individuals like you and me can make a living doing what we love, playing with cameras, taking photos, making podcasts, illustrating if that's your thing. If it is, that's awesome. The big thing I came to realize when talking with him, and it reminded me of a lot of things that I've learned, is at the end of the day, it's just a person at a brand, just like your buddy that you went to high school with. They're people at companies, and you're just trying to connect with them on a human level. The work's important, don't get me wrong. I'm a big stickler to making great work, but at the end of the day, it's about being a good person first. And Andy's perspective of how to connect with people at brands and build those relationships is a lesson that we can all learn from. There's just all these people behind these companies, right? Um... I mean, I, I think this is fine to talk about, but I met a couple of guys from Sennheiser in uh, an event in um, in uh, Ireland, Northern Ireland. And I was just like, oh, I'm working on this project soon in Hawaii. I really love what you guys do. Like, it'd be great to like have um, to like maybe use some microphones. And just over time that built out and they sent me a bunch of awesome microphones that I get to use, which is great. And then there was like speaking opportunities and things just grew from that. And people, I think people get scared. Um, they think that the doors are shut to these big companies because they're these massive companies. And it's like, how do you get in with them? You just need, it's just one person, right? Or just, it's just like that one opportunity and just finding those people. Um, and yeah, just building something a bit like genuine out with, with those. Yes, photography and filmmaking is incredibly hard. It is challenging, it is daunting. There's a lot of other descriptive words that I can use to talk about the challenges that we face as creators. However, at the end of the day, 
It's just about connecting our work with an audience that we think our work is appropriate for. That takes time, but again, we're just trying to connect on a human level before we're trying to be salesmen. So it's important to remember that. I'm one to forget it from time to time as well. So Andy, thank you for the reality check. And the final big thing I learned from Andy was just the notion of getting started. If you have these aspirations and you want to be learning these things, <clears throat> start doing it, start making it, start putting it out in the world. If it's not great, who really cares? Like, I mean, you could go back and find my old Snapchat videos or Instagram videos and like some aren't great and I don't really care because I'm evolving and you just keep making stuff. Um, and I, I was never really worried about what people would think about it um, but I was always learning something from that. And I would say, just make something that you're really interested in. Be making it for that reason. It took me a long time to find out exactly what it was that I like to do in the travel space. And it's immersing myself in different cultures and communities and trying to find interesting stories within that. As creatives, at least for me specifically, I tend to have these big grandiose ideas, yet, they sit there in my notebook. They sit there, I don't do anything with them, and a year or two goes by and they're just sitting there in my notebook, in my shitty handwriting. At the end of the day, we just have to do the work. We have to roll up our sleeves and make it. Regardless of the work is good or bad, I mean, we all want to make great work. However, it's important to realize that in making things, that's where we grow. There's always gonna be another project and the trick to growing as a filmmaker or a photographer or a creator in general is just the notion of trying to improve our craft day by day. Consistent behavior ultimately breeds the results that we want. We're not gonna get there immediately, but we will over time. So it's important to keep that in mind and just do the work. But that's all the time I got for this quick wrap up of my conversation with Andy. Be sure to go follow him on the socials. He's all over the internet. Go check his YouTube stuff out. It's wonderful. Um, all of that's down in the link below. But as always, create, share, and sustain the life that you want. Get out there and make some awesome work. Mm -hmm.